This program brought to you by the Arts and Communications Academy at Lansdowne High School. It's the Lansdowne Show! I'm Zach, welcome to the Lansdowne Show, December edition, and I hope you guys enjoy the show. Hey, it's Sunfish. It's the season to be Holly, isn't it? Hey, it's Sunfish here with the Collector's Edition for episode six. Yes, I skipped four and five. They took too much time to require. Now, the first book I'm gonna require it, or review is Beowulf. And it's a story about King Leonidas, uh, once again, and his adventures on killing Grendel and its mother, these horrible, horrible demons made from Hellspawn. He also dies from a giant golden dragon and he gets succeeded by his friend Achilles the Great. Now, the second book I'm going to be covering are Christmas classics, and it's going to be Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, right here. Now, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer is about a reindeer who has a shiny bright red nose, and he gets picked on for it because he's different. What a sad story indeed. But one day, Santa comes up to him and says, Ho, ho, oh, would you like to ride my, drive my sleigh tonight? Ride my sleigh tonight? Through the misty, foggy Christmas night eve, and that's how Rudolph becomes popular and becomes number one. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. The second book I'm going to be covering is Frosty the Snowman. And Frosty the Snowman is about this magical snowman that these kids build and play with all day and night. Happy birthday to me, happy birthday to me, and happy birthday it was. Oh. And then the next morning they wake up just to see that he's gone. A tragic story indeed. Let's go look at our snowman. Yeah, let's go play with our new friend. <gasps> Where'd he go? What happened? Sonny Jay, the snowman! Is he in there? <laughs> hey, it's been a great time with you guys once again. Sorry for the short episode, but this is Sunfish with episode 7 saying, I forgot 6. What's up, little mo? What's up? What's up? I'll tell you what's up. Death rates in a polar bear species due to global climate change. That's what's up. Way to be a downer. Why are hot dogs called hot dogs? They're not made from a dog. Do animals think in human language? If so, is it English? Do you ever look at a word and wonder why it means the way it does? Is, why is a duck called a duck? What is it ducking from? If the moon is made of cheese, is the world just one giant dairy product? Is it lactose intolerant? Do horses get songs stuck in their heads? I know I do. Why is the sky a blue? Is it sad? What does water taste like? Where's this space come from? We're dyeing his hair red 
And uh, if we dyed it red right now as it is, it would turn to weird purple, and that's not the color we're looking for right now. So we're going to bleach it. Taking this program benefits the high school students because it enables them to learn the developmental areas of children, how to teach them, how to organize a lesson so that they'll know how to teach children. Then they can go on to college and they're that much ahead of their other peers who have not had a program like this. Students have the potential to earn their 90 hour certificate with this program, which will enable them to get a higher paying job in a daycare setting. For next week, we're, we are preparing turkey plates for painting them so we can make turkeys ABC patterns. I like to come and play with the high school kids. We're learning left and right. Put your left hand out, put your right hand out, and fly. And he'll keep poking. Hope you enjoyed that piece. Here's another one. Today we have with us Mark Crampton from the State Department of Transportation. Uh, and he is a Lansdowne graduate, he's an engineer, he is, uh, brought, has brought with him today several engineers from the state uh, that run our key projects, that build our highways, that build our bridges, and those engineers are here today working with our students. So Mark first gave uh, an introduction and is trying to make real world connections between our classes here at high school how to get through the college curriculum and actually get a job in engineering and in the engineering field. Uh, and then as the students work through the different stations, they're given a problem by the engineer, they are given feedback by the engineers, and at the end of the session, each group will derive a solution based on the problem that the engineers gave them. So that's what we're doing here at Lansdowne and the Seed Academy. We're making a real world connection between the engineering we teach here what goes on in the field. Here's a new segment starring Captain Maryland. <laughs> 